Though his name is familiar among beer drinkers, it was a different beverage for which he became famous, an act of patriotism that is known as the Boston Tea Party. The man, Samuel Adams. We want to welcome our guest, Mike Burgess, lead teacher at the Center for Law and Global Policy Development at River Bluff High School with more on a very important anniversary. Glad to have you with us. Well, thank you for having me in. All right, so why is today so important? It's important because when you look at what caused the American Revolution, everyone likes to jump to Lexington and Concord, yet they forget the British caused the American Revolution by a change in policy starting in 1763, where they began to raise taxes on the colonists who did not have representation in Parliament. But of all the different acts, the Stamp Act and Quartering Act that, that you study in school, Boston Massacre, there's no act that directly correlates to the start of the American Revolution like the Tea Act itself. The Tea Act itself, and we're talking about the Boston Tea Party when uh, pounds upon pounds of tea were thrown into the Boston Harbor in protest. Correct. And what's interesting though, and this will, this will, our viewers here will find this unique, there was actually another tea party before this one 13 days earlier on December 3rd, 1773, down at the old exchange building on East Bay Street. Well, how about the that? The Charleston right Tea here. Party. But it wasn't as dramatic. It was fairly peaceful. It was you know, no uh, acts of, of violence or, or crime per se, other than maybe an illegal meeting. But unlike the Boston Tea Party, which of course has been dramatized and made for great propaganda material for Samuel Adams and his ace propagandist, Paul Revere, right. who, who we know for the ride, but we forget yeah. that as a member of Sons of Liberty, uh, drew the fame, uh, created the famed engraving of the Boston Massacre and was just perfect for the moment in getting the word out of these British depredations and colonial protest in, in standing in their way. So on this day, May 10th, 250 years ago, is really when history was marked. And so tell our audience a little bit about just the start of the revolution, Samuel Adams' role in all of this, and also the fact that he was second cousin to President John Adams. Correct. So he had patriotism Correct. running in his bloodstream anyway. Correct. But maybe you can talk a bit about just the events that took place after that Boston Tea Party right. and what happened. Uh, so after the, Boston, after the Boston Tea Party, what happened is the British government seeks to restore control and to do so in a punitive fashion by making an example of Massachusetts in Boston. They pass what becomes known across the ocean as the Coercive Acts, but here is the Intolerable Acts designed to close Boston Harbor, uh, eliminate civil government, and essentially institute martial law. Uh, totally backfired from what they anticipated happening. Uh, the other 12 colonies rallied to the cause of Boston. In fact, our very own here in Charleston, Christopher Gadsden, became a good friend with Samuel Adams. And in fact, South Carolina and Charleston send more supplies to sustain Boston, who had been cut off from trade, than any of the other colonies. Wow, is that so? I, it's amazing that the history that is here in Charleston, a lot of people are aware, and South Carolina's role in the founding of this nation. However, I think all these little details really accentuate how how very crucial Charleston, South Carolina was to the entire nation. Oh, absolutely. Uh, in, in, in a true telling of the American Revolution, there yeah. are three colonies that take the lead. Massachusetts, we all know that. Virginia, we all know that. But South Carolina, and often in this state, we don't even know that and yeah, realize that true. South Carolina is a leader in the American Revolution. And, and will be treated as such after the war right. until this little event in the 19th century called the American Civil War changes how the nation wants to include South Carolina in the Revolutionary War story. That's right, it's fantastic. Fascinating history lesson. We should all be cracking open those books and relearning about our nation. Thank you again. Yes, ma'am, thank you for having me. We're back after this.